Some people don't like trout, you know, but trout is, um, it, it's kind of a, a finicky fish to uh, to cook, you know, it doesn't hold particularly well, not, not as good as redfish at least, but there are a few things you can do with trout and ceviche is absolutely a blast to do. It's fun to work with uh, and it's actually relatively easy to prepare. Uh, the cool thing about ceviche, man, is there's no heat involved, it's all cooked with uh, the citrus. Um, so that's sort of the main component of everything. Uh, all the other toppings that I've added in this are really kind of secondary. You know, you can toss in your own stuff. But, uh, you know, we got to catch the fish first. And on this particular day, clouds are out. And, you know, nothing good comes easy. I really wanted to find a good chunky trout. You know, you can always kind of tell. Uh, a, when a good when you have a good trout there's a little bit of drag that's peeled off of it and you sort of can't bring her up I, I sort of underestimated her oh, we're catching a handful of nice little trout like this it's definitely a keeper We're gonna let her go, man. Uh, I'll give you guys a little quick update. This is a keeper for sure. You know, 15, without a doubt. But we're looking for uh, the big girls like this, so. Keeper. Next level keeper. <laughs> let this girl go. She can get bigger. You know, there's, there's a big difference, man, between a 15, 18 inch trout, and then once you get into your 20s, uh, you know, they, they tend to get a little chunky. Uh, the texture of the meat is, is a lot thicker. You can almost mistake it for a redfish if, if you're unfamiliar with different types of fish meat. I'm working about three foot of water in and around some grass, and I was able to bring one out on a, on a nice slope. It was sort of just hanging there, and the way the, the current was going, it was sort of going laterally. And I think this girl was just kind of either posted up there or cruising on by looking for uh, an ambush opportunity. Now that we've got our trout, I'm gonna head back home, get the ingredients out, and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna actually prepare this. Hope you guys enjoy.
the onions, the cilantro, the tomatoes, the jumbo avocado, and the trout. But here it is, it's very simple, there's nothing to it. It's just a matter of actually making sure you have enough lime juice here to actually cook the trout. Uh, and that'll clean it up, make it very tender. Um, one of the things I add on here that I, that I absolutely, absolutely love is a little bit of garlic. But not that much though, because garlic can go a long way, you know. And if you don't like garlic, then by all means don't use it. But uh, the main thing on this is the lime juice. So that's basically what ceviche is, is you cook the meat with the acidity uh, of the lime or lemon or what have you. Uh, I have a couple of good knives for you. This will be good for your vegetables so you can come down on everything. And uh, this is more of a, a fillet knife so that you can get real into detail on the fillet. If there's any small bones, trout tend to have small bones. Uh, so if you miss some during the filleting process, you can get those out. You know, this is setting about, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this is setting right at, so if I basically push down on the fish just a little bit. Basically all of it is sitting on the juice. All of it's gonna get cooked, but I am gonna mix it up after a little bit. So I'm gonna let it set here for a while, uh, and then I'm gonna come back, check on it, and I'm gonna turn it, and I'll continue to do that process until it's done. Okay, so I've let it kinda sit there for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing in. Now as I'm mixing this, it still isn't really done and it still has to go through its cooking process. But while it's cooking the meat, it's also going to be getting into all the vegetables, the tomato, the avocado, and it's just going to really intensify these flavors. It's starting to look good, still very fish heavy. You know, it's all up to you if you really like the taste of uh, ceviche and, and the fish, then you can uh, leave it like this, but if, if you want a little bit more of the other flavors, and the avocado then of course you can add a, a little more of whatever so one of the things I'm looking for is right here so if you guys can see where this liquid is already putting up that's where the uh, meat is going to continue to cook based off of the acidity levels so we're going to let that set I'm going to cover it up leave it in the fridge so there you have it guys my personal ceviche man I hope you guys go out there and try it for yourselves. Uh, let us know how it came out for you, man. You can either comment below, send us an email of what you got. I'd love to show it off on maybe a future Catch and Cook episode. Uh, if you liked the video today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. And let them know about Next Level Fishing TV. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.